What's up guys, Josh from Brute Force Cornhole Reviews here again with you today. And we have the Kong series from Strive Cornhole. Now how cool is that design? That is probably absolutely sick design. The eye color is cool. I like the black grill on the front. They're just amazing. It is ACL comp stamp, so it's not a pro stamp, but it is a comp. So those of you that need the stamp or want the stamp, these do have it. Um, again, not a big deal to me, but they do have the stamp. So... Or has a comp stamp, not the pro stamp. Uh, speed on these is a 5.7, which is, I'd say, very, very accurate. Um, both sides played very similar. There's very, very slight difference in uh, speed on them, which is awesome. And then uh, price, what did I pay? I think I paid 70 bucks for them. They're $70 roughly after ship. Again, factor in tax, factor in um, sh any of that stuff in your area. It might be a little bit more. But around $70 to $75 ship from the website. And I'll put a link in that description below as well. Excuse me. Sorry. Along with their uh, their Facebook page. Now let's get to the bags. The way these things play. Actually, before I even get to how they play. Because we'll go outside and check that out. They feel different than anything I've ever felt before. That I felt, personally. They're a very soft bag. The materials are nothing like I felt before. They they are just very soft and and amazing in the hand, and they just they're different. They're a very different bag. Um, I believe it has the disc fill in these. That's what it felt like. I'm sorry, guys. I really apologize for that. Um, hope it doesn't happen again. I believe these have the disc fill in them, and they're not super small, but they're not super thick. So they're they're. Thick enough that even I liked them a lot. Um, the way they played in, in the way they felt in the hand. They weren't too skinny. They weren't too floppy. They were just like perfect. But look at this. I mean, this is it's pretty old friendly. I, I did a delicate cycle in the washing machine. And I did a tumble dry in the uh, dryer. And that's all I did. No chemicals. No nothing. Just tumble dry them for about 10-15 minutes on low heat till they're dry. I think I did about another half an hour on no heat to tumble them. Um, and they came out perfect. They just feel great. And I'll tell you what, I threw them a little bit before I did this review just to try them out because I was anxious. They melt, guys. They melt in the hole. These things are super hole friendly. They don't look it and they don't feel it necessarily. When you feel them, you're like, ah, it's, it's a pretty good bag, but they're not super floppy. But, oh, my God, there's something about this material. They just they slip in. They catch the edge of that hole and they're going in. You can still push them up the boards and they just... They play great. They really do. Strive is making strides, you guys. They are. They're making milestones here. And I believe they're well on their way. Again, he used to work for Kill Shots. Kill Shots owner Austin Reynard is sponsored by Strive for this season um, to throw. So that's pretty cool. So this guy has a background of knowledge in the bag making industry and knows what he's doing. And I think that's why his bags are coming out so amazing. And this Kong is just up there with another one. The Cayman is still my favorite. I have to say the Cayman is still my favorite, but this Kong is right up there behind it just because of the way it plays. Design-wise, the Kong rivals that Mufasa design for me. Those are two of my favorite designs so far from Strive Cornel, and they're absolutely amazing. I think I'm leaning more towards the Kong just because I like that gorilla look with the green eyes, but the Mufasa is just an awesome look. So they're, they're both right there. Um, they play phenomenal. The price is really reasonable. You can't beat that price. And they just, they're an amazing bag. I will say, if you have dead grass around your boards or anything like I do, and we'll probably see when I get out there, because I'll probably throw them off the back of the board again. Um, they do stick. Some of the leaves and stuff will stick to it, or grass will stick to it, just because the type of material it is. But if you take like a bag shaver or something to it, I assume it'll be fine. Um, I'm going to get these cleaned off. I'm going to go outside, and then we'll probably get them dirty again. So, see what happens. But yeah, this is Strive Cornel's Kong series, you guys. Let's get outside and throw them, and I'll show you how good they play. They're just different than anything I've ever felt. Very soft, pillowy feel almost, actually. The materials are just amazing. And I can't wait to show you guys how these play. And if you seriously have a chance to throw them, if somebody owns them, throw them. Or buy yourself a set. You won't regret it. So, yeah. Let's get outside and throw these and uh, see how they do. Let's get out there. All right, what's up, guys? Josh from Root Forest Cornhole Review is here. And like I said before, we have the Kong from Strive Cornhole out here with us. Pretty cool looking bag. Feel is just like, especially now that I've done that tumble, that uh, 
delicate cycle and tumble dry. These things just feel like a soft pillow in my hand. I might have to take the lint shaver to them, but they just feel like they just feel amazing. Like I said, so let's throw them and see how they do. We're looking at 41 degrees and 53% humidity. Oh God, can't keep my footing. They feel very, very hole friendly. They're playing wicked good too. Like I like how they play. I'll check something real quick. Yeah, they just feel. It, it's a, it's. I don't know how to describe it. It's a feeling I haven't felt in a bag before. It's a very soft texture. Very fluffy, I guess. Almost, it's just soft and and it just feels. I I do <laughs> not explain it. It just feels different, but it feels great. A little floppy. So it's a little bit different for me. I have to get used to that. But I still throw them pretty well. I think. Like, look at that. Right in the hole. They, they go right in the hole. But it's not too, too floppy to the point that I struggle with it. You know. I'm going to try the other side. Let's try this, the Strive side. And his designs, like I said earlier, are just, just, just something else. Like his... his Designs are awesome. Well, first front board. They look cool. They're fun to throw. I mean, they're fun to look, like look at everything on his website. He's come out with. He always has cool designs like the Kong, the Piranhas, uh, the Cayman. I actually like Cayman. Uh, looks like some of you, the red ones I got looked like bricks at first, like an idiot. I thought. But they're actually, it's an alligator skin, like a caiman. Um, oh, man. I knew that wasn't going to stay on the board. The uh, Mufasa is one of my favorite designs. And the pink dolphin just got a cool design. I don't know what it has to do with the pink dolphin, but the design's just cool. These bags, guys, are great. Probably, I don't know, the caiman is still probably my favorite from Strive. But these are coming right up on it because just the way they feel and the way they play, and they're they're just they're they're different. They're not something that I have felt before, and it's not a material you feel in every bag. Great, I will tell you that you get grass on them, it sticks right to them, so that don't help. Um, they're just really nice bags. I don't know how else to describe it. They just play great, feel great. Let's see if I can't push that stuff in here. Oh, it took two of them. I mean, look at that. Look how soft these things just fall in the hole. They just drop. They get to that hole, and it's just that the material is just I think it's something to do with that material, but they just fall right in the hole. As soon as they get to that hole edge, they just slip right in nice and silky smooth. I couldn't even see this board in the sun there. I mean, look at that. That thing just melted in the hole. Here we go again. Coming up a little short. Yeah, too hard. I knew that one going off the back. I really should get another set of these rugs and put them behind the board. Because it's uh, bouncing. I mean, not bouncing. It's, uh, when they go off the back... Nothing but dirt and grass behind it. Now I'm going to have to wash these bags just to clean them up. Sorry, I'm off camera. Just trying to clean the bag up a little bit here. All right, let's go down one more time. I highly recommend these, you guys. Give them a chance. Yeah, they're only comp stamp, but whatever. I actually don't even care about the stamp, but these bags are... Granted, it's not very humid out here right now. It's pretty chilly. So I think the boards are playing a little quicker, but they just feel great. They're, they're soft in the hand. They don't feel like anything I've ever felt that I've thrown so far. I'm not saying there's not something else out there like it, but they don't feel like anything I've, I've thrown. And I just like the way they play and they look cool. That Kong with the green eyes is pretty badass if you ask me. Oops. Well, it looks like we're going to be ending this on a bad note. 
couldn't even get one in the hole. But, oh well. Excuse me. There you guys go. Another close up look at that. That is the Kong from Strive Cornhole. I think I'm going to have to wash my bags again now because they are covered in crap. But these bags, guys, go check out strive.com or strivecornhole.com. Check out his website. I'll put a link in the description below, like I said. And give them a shot. They are just phenomenal feeling bags. He has done amazing work with them. His designs are top notch. And these bags, especially out of that lineup, are different than anything he has out and anything I've ever felt. And they just got this really nice soft feel to them. They're wicked hole friendly. So give them a shot. And I highly recommend trying them out. If you know somebody has them, throw them because they're a wicked cool bag. And they are actually play really well. So check them out. This is Josh from Brute Force Cornhole Reviews. Have a good one. Keep throwing four baggers, guys.